Hello everyone, my name is Anthony Wilson and welcome back to Magic Talk. Today we're going to be looking at the winning deck from the Star City Games Standard Open in Nashville, which happened uh, just yesterday. It's kind of a shocking uh, shocking twist here. The winning deck was Elves. And we're going to take a look at this deck. It's pretty straightforward. Start at the creature base here. It's What we have is four Arbor Elves, four Elvish Archdruids, four Fauna Shamans, four Draga Tree Speakers, four Draga War Callers, four Lana War Elves, three Nisus Chosens, two Sylvan Rangers, four Venge Vines, and three Azuri Renegade Leaders. Now, it's got the, for obviously a green deck, got the Fauna Shaman Venge Vine engine going, which it's, it's good to see Venge Vine making a comeback here in Standard. But also we see, we see uh, little things like Sylvan Ranger, which is which is what we're going to talk about next with the the mana base only running fourteen uh, forest and four orange reef of vast woods which is great in this deck by the way to go with Draga war caller but he's only running eighteen land so that's the reason for the the sylvan rangers in here also to to get that venge vine back running twelve one drops running arbor elf Draga Tree Speaker and Land of War Elves for those. And yes, you have Draga War Caller, but you're never actually going to cast this guy for one. Most of the time, you just want to multi kick this guy. So, um, I did say when Azuri Renegade Leader was was spoiled that elves produce tons of mana and have absolutely nothing to do with it most of the time. Well, now they absolutely do. You can use Azuri to overrun multiple times to keep giving your elves plus three plus three. Um, if you can do it multiple times in one turn, that's pretty much game. Also, using that extra mana to um, multi-kick your Draga War Callers, which is pumps your elves and makes them really, really big. You can level Draga Tree Speaker a couple times. Not that you really need to. Um, once you get her to level one, that's that's pretty pretty much where she needs to stay. Um, then you're running Eldrazi Monuments to help keep your dudes alive, and you can drop this dude super early with the amount of mana that you're producing in this deck. And um, helps you give that other win condition for elves, so they can get that one one flying and indestructible. So you can just uh, use several win conditions now with Eldrazi Monument, Jiraga War Callers, and the Azuri. Also, you got three Nisa Ravines here. And this helps fuel your Eldrazi Monument. You can keep sacrificing your Nisa's Chosen and getting them back with Nisa Ravine. This also helps in the red matchup where you can gain two life for each of your elves, which helps out a lot. Not to mention that if you get her ultimate ability off, that's pretty much game over because you've got all this stuff coming into play. Hopefully, you have a couple of your lands out. You can pump them with Orin Reef the Vastwood. And hopefully, you have an Eldrazi Monument out so they can't get rid of them all. So, definitely a great, great main deck going on here. I really like it. It's very straightforward. Not a lot of additions from Scars except for the Azuri. So, this. This deck is definitely taking advantage of the the lack of really good removal in standard right now. I, I can think like Wall of Omens and 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 um, condemns a lot. It, you run into that, but it doesn't matter because they're not actually disrupting you. With condemn, you're not actually attacking until you're going to win. So it's a great card to have there. And even if you were say you swing with Vengevine and they condemn it, you just get it back with Fauna Shaman. So no big deal there. So that's a look at the main deck. We're going to jump down here to the sideboard where he's got a lot more interesting stuff going on as well. We'll start here with Brittle Effigy. A lot of people tell me, yeah, they run this to help deal with big annoying dudes. You know, the elf decks have the lack of removal and it helps deal with Eldrazi dudes. But the, I think the biggest reason this is here is to help deal with Iona. If they can get Iona out against you pretty early and they name green, you're kind of screwed. So Brittle Effigy helps get rid of that Iona and and uh, I think it, uh, most of the time they only run about one or two, so it, it definitely helps out there. Because if, if Iona resolves against you, you're kind of screwed if you don't have an answer. Next we have three Acetic Slimes. Uh, there's only a three of because uh, you can search for it with Fauna Shaman. Fauna Shaman allows you to, to cut down the number of, the, uh, uh, of cards in your sideboard, of multiples of each card, and uh, giving you more sideboard space. So, Acetic Slime, it's three of, this is kind of like your Tectonic Edge, your Naturalize, and your Removal Spell all in one. It comes in, can destroy a land, or enchantment, or artifact, and also is, is Death Touch. So he's a great, a great utility for elves to have. And the five mana is no big deal. I mean, you, like we said before, you produce tons of mana, and have, and so you have to, <laughs> sorry, you produce tons of mana, and you usually have nothing to do with it, so Acetic Slime is no problem. Um, they have no problem paying the five mana for Acetic Slime because of all the mana that they produce. Tajuri Preserver, a great card to have. is a two of, like I said, search for with Fauna Shaman. This helps prevent uh, the sacrificing when people swing with Eldrazi dudes or, or um, 
consuming vapors or whatnot, so it's a good tool to have as well. Leyline of Vitality is a four of. This card is amazing, uh, in my opinion. A friend of mine at the local FNM, uh, Chris, he has these in his elf deck. He has a similar elf build to this. He main decks these, and I play red deck. So if you bring, if you start with this in your opening hand against red deck, red, they, they pretty much can't beat you. Because um, all your dudes are bigger, have a bigger toughness, and you're gaining the life for every time a creature comes into play, and you're dropping tons of creatures. So there's no way that red deck can keep up with the amount of life gain that you have um, coming out of your deck when this is in play. And they have no way of getting rid of it as well. There's no good enchant, there's no enchantment removal for red, actually. So... It's a great card to have against the red decks, in my opinion. We have an extra Azuri Renegade Leader in the sideboard. Also have two Genesis Waves, another card that takes advantage of the the, the surplus of mana that the elves can produce. Um, it's a great way to go through and rip tons of elves out of your deck. Nothing in the main deck is very high casting cost, except for Eldrazi Monument. Is, it, it curves out, it curves the deck out at five. So if, if you can just, uh, if you're able to just produce the 8 mana to Genesis Wave for 5, which is no problem whatsoever for this deck, it looks like. Um, you can, you can any permanents you reveal, go right into play. And that's everything. There's nothing in the main deck that's not a permanent. In fact, the only spells being, the only non-permanent uh, spells being run in the entire deck is the 2 Genesis Waves. Everything else in the deck is a permanent. If you, we scroll back through here and take a look, everything is a permanent. There are no other type of spells in this deck, so... Definitely a great deck, and uh, I congratulate this guy for winning this Jacob uh, Bowles, however you pronounce his last name. Um, congratulate him on winning the 5K yesterday in the Star City Game Standard Open. I will post a link to this page uh, down in the description box below if you'd like to take a closer look at it yourselves or uh, maybe build the deck yourself and, and test it out. And if you do that, let us know how you're doing. And also give us your feedback and what you feel about this deck and what you think of it and any changes you would make. Um, put them in the, the uh, response section down below in the comment section below and let us know your thoughts and feelings of this deck. So as always everyone, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.